Lord Isabel. You're always saying you want to understand us and what it means to be black. Well, if you do, then listen to me. I don't call it murder, and I don't call the people who did it a mad mob. And yes, I do expect you to see it as an act of self-defense. Blind and stupid, but still self-defense. He betrayed us in our fight for freedom. Five men are in detention because of Mr. M's visit to the police. There have been other arrests, and there will be more. Why do you think I'm running away? Try to understand, Isabel. Try to imagine what it is like to be a black person. Choking up inside with rage and frustration, bitterness. And then to discover that one of your own kind is a traitor. Has betrayed you to those responsible for the misery and suffering of your own family. Of your people. What would you do? Remember, there is no magistrate or court you could drag him to and demand that he be tried for that crime. There is no justice for black people in this country other than what we make for ourselves. When you judge us for what happened in front of the school four days ago, just remember that you carry a share of the responsibility for it. It is your laws that have made simple, decent black people so desperate that they turn into mad mobs.